Hand Mask Review and Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, today's video is going to be a really quick, quick video on doing a hand mask that I just got in a little review of that hand mask. I have been using hand sanitizer a lot lately, you know, diaper changes and all sorts of stuff. It just seems to seems to be happening a bit more frequently than, than normal. And when I go to bed, I'm too tired to deal with to do my usual skin routine of cuticle oil and all that stuff. So my hands have been suffering a little bit. So I decided I'd do a hand mask to help recover some. And I thought I'd just show you guys how that went. I hope you guys like this and there will be links to it in the description box below. So check that out. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So here's the hand mask that I'm going to be showing you and there's little instructions on the back of it and also really quickly I just wanted to mention that there is a Amazon giveaway that is happening right now with this hand mask and there will be a link to that in the description box below so it's not a giveaway on my channel but you it's really easy if you've never done one of these before I had never heard of it until just now but you just go to Amazon and if you have an account you log in and then you click the little It'll come with a little box and you click the box and it'll tell you right away whether you won or not. So it's just kind of fun, really quick, really easy. So definitely, definitely, definitely check that out. So here are how the hand mask, or here's the hand mask and here's how it works. So it's just these two gloves basically and they're sealed together and they're sealed together so that the, the cream doesn't get dried out or anything. So you start just by cutting them apart. Um, you, I found that for me it probably would be easier, I don't know if you could tear them apart, but you kind of have to cut them apart and then kind of cut them open because if you just cut them right straight down where they're sealed, they're still sealed because they don't open up all the way. But for this one, I just kind of tore it open after I had them cut apart and that worked out really well. So that wasn't, it's not like it's difficult. I just, you know, just mention it. So that one's open and I'm going to get the other one open because you're definitely going to want to have them both prepared before you put one on, or it's going to be a lot more difficult to get the other one on when you have one hand all gloved and slimy. So go ahead and cut the other thing. Go ahead. And then as you can see, I just kind of tore and pulled on that little sealed part and it came right off and it was, it was really easy. Um, the one thing that my first like thought when I open these up is they smell phenomenal. It smells, it's not a super heavy smell. It just kind of smells like, I don't know, a combination of honey and the only thing I can think of is rainforest. I don't know. That's just the thing that comes to mind, but just really fresh, very kind of sweet and light. So go ahead and slide one mask on your hand, one glove. And then there's a little pull tab. There's this little thing on the side and I move into frame in just a second, but you just want to pull off the little sticky cover and then there it is. So just peel that off just like that and then wrap that around so it kind of seals up the wrist and it makes it so that it stays on well, a lot better. It's not just going to slide off your hand and it keeps it in place and keeps it from drying out while you're wearing it. So then after you're done with these, so then I did the other hand, but then after you have them both done 20 to 30 minutes, then you can just sort of peel them off. I kind of tried to squeegee off some of the cream as I was pulling it off because there's quite a bit in there and you have a lot of residue left on your hands. So just kind of try to, with your hands, squish it down off your hand as you go because then after you have both of the gloves taken off, as you can see, there's a bunch hanging out by my ring right there. You may want to take your rings off before you do this. This is, I never do because I'm like, well, if I take my rings off every time I do something like this, then I'm never going to have my rings on, but you may want to just you know, just to keep it off of there, but just keep rubbing and massaging that cream into your hands until it soaks in. It was about two, three minutes for me of, of that little massage and they felt fantastic. And the scent also lasted for a really long time. So you kind of have this little residual hmm, that smells good for, for quite a while, which is nice. And it just, like I said, soaked in and it feels great. Not greasy, really light. I love it. So don't forget to check out that Amazon giveaway and I will see you in my next video. Bye.